My family and I were moved to the Bahamas on a work assignment, and after that work assignment ended, we moved over here to Southern Florida, and one of the first things that we knew we needed to do, wanted to do, was to find a great Christian school. So after scoping out the landscape of Southern Florida, we found Calvary Christian Academy. That drew us here, then it drew us into the church, and uh, everything stuck like glue. The role I get is actually pretty special. It operates the different departments operationally, so um, finance and accounting and IT, and um, those departments also including uh, the oversight of Calvary Christian Academy. The vision, um, until the whole world hears, we've heard it and it's been said, but until the whole world hears the real true word of um, our Lord. At the mission to make disciples, and that's of course Matthew 28. The heartbeat is really all the activity around supporting what that really means and how it comes about. So it's, um, it's a blessing to see how many people are really involved to really take the walk of a Christian and knowing Jesus and then the walk of that Christian into a place that's, that's truly amazing. It's all through the church services that is really a portion again of that heartbeat, but it's also beyond that into the community and into the community groups and then to the broader outreach, both here in the U.S. and nationally and then also internationally and through sort of church and sort of through community and then sort of through outreach. It all blends into bringing that out there in a broader way. Calvary is being used for uh, making disciples. And one of the strongest ways, I think, is through the different, definitely different ministries that are happening. And they touch on so many people. Uh, one of them in particular is Calvary Christian Academy. There's over 1,700 students there today, and it's the whole mission to make disciples of these students. And it is one of, one of the additional heartbeats of one of the ministries of Calvary Chapel, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, pretty amazing. I mean, we've got K through 12th graders, and um, to see what's happening in their lives and seeing how they're now moving out as graduates to influence this world positively for Jesus Christ is just amazing. It's heartwarming. It's wonderful. I think for uh, folks to get involved, there's a couple of easy, easy ways. One is the natural things that are happening on the websites of which Calvary Chapel uh, owns and sponsors, but that's an easy click away, and it's a, or a click or a phone call away. Uh, the click away shows all the different ministries. It shows every single thing that Calvary's doing and participating in, and there's something for everybody. Once again, it's just a click away, or it's a phone call. And even on the website, there's great phone numbers, great people that will reach out and talk to you, um, and they'll share their ideas with you, and you share their ideas, your ideas with them. It's, it's a great way to get connected. Prayer support, we have a prayer ministry, but the prayer ministry, I think, is a ministry that we're all involved in every day. It's really about praying for the needs and the development of the kingdom and, um, and what we can do to participate in that. So in financial, develop, financial portions of it, um, you know, as, uh, as the Lord tells us, you know, this is just an opportunity for us to put our treasures in, um, in heaven and not here. And I think that's one of the ways we just simply try to help people understand what the Word says about it and how they can best contribute financially. Why do I do what I do? It's the best question of the day. Because uh, for me personally, it's halftime. It was the corporate opportunity the first half of my life when it comes to this thing called work. And um, halftime means going to the dugout, going to the locker room, and assessing what you're going to do for your next half. For me, that was a great opportunity. It's something that happened right here at Calvary. And that second half became very evident that it was, this was the time to go from a place of what would be considered significant in many people's lives to a place, or excuse me, a place that was um, successful in many people's lives to a place that's significant. And that can only happen, I think, through the touch of the Holy Spirit. And I'm so grateful that that had happened to move me to a place of trying to be significant, not for myself, but for Him. I think the foundation of Calvary Chapel Fort Lauderdale is all about equipping people. Initially, it is our opportunity to bring people to Christ and offer them a platform of which to do so. And then once they're here to help them in their Christian walk, this is about equipping them for um, what God has got in store for them and not necessarily us. So in the equipping people thought, um, it gives me great pleasure just to say that that's our job, to help others be equipped to do the work of the Lord.